one of the things we wanted to dispel was that you still need the expertise in the music industry. It's just the shape of that industry and the expertise um, has changed a little bit. So that's, I think, an important strand that I wanted to bring out of this panel. Um, and also how the landscape fits together. So you, it's not necessarily that you just do a pledge campaign. After that, you still need a distributor. So these companies work together and the, the landscape knits together. So Pledge has worked with Cooking Vinyl on a number of projects. Um, that, you know, one of the big, big names of the air is Amanda Palmer, and although it's a different um, company that she raised funds with, she's done a deal uh, with, with Martin and Cooking Vinyl for distribution. So what are you bringing to her, Martin, if we can come back to you on that? What services do you bring that she it just could not do herself with um, that money? It's, a, it's actually a license deal with Amanda. Um, mm. uh, but basically, we, we do what a record company does. Um, you know, we, we, what, what does a record company do? They, they provide some funding, um, but far more importantly, um, we, you know, we, we, we've been, I've been putting out records for 30 years. You, you learn a few things if you've been doing a job for 30 years. Um, we've put together a, a, an amazing team in the office who also are really experienced, and they just know how to put a team together construct a campaign worldwide. With Amanda, we just do, do Europe and um, a couple of other territories. Um, and, but we know how to be in the right place at the right time. We know the three different people you should consider to do radio promotion, and if, depending on your budget, depending on what your goals are at radio. We, we just know how to work with booking agents and sometimes when to have a fight with them, sometimes, you know, when, when what they're doing is brilliant, we'll tell them. We, we, we just know all that stuff because, we've done, you know, we, again, we, we're, we're putting out like, Cooking Vinyl about 30 albums a year. We know what companies in France may be going bust and you probably shouldn't work with and who, you know, because you don't want to lose your money. We, we're, we're learning all the time. We, we see about the new ways to market. I mean, it's actually... Um, <coughs> much harder now to put out a record than it was when I started because um, the internet, I mean it's great, it's levelled the playing field a lot but it's also made things a lot more complicated. There's so many different routes to market, there's so many different income streams and, and you, can't, you, you can't ignore them, there's, there's less money in, in the system so you've got to have all those income streams, you know, you've got to know how to not just get paid by YouTube, but maximise your YouTube income. You know, it's 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 quite. We've got two people working full time on YouTube in our in our office. Um, so, I think mm. I, I think that we we bring a lot to the table. I, I don't think you need us. I don't think you need us. But you know, like like I said before, I don't think you need a pair of shoes either. You can walk in bare feet. You know, it's your choice whether we'll get you down the road faster. You know. You can walk to work, or you can get a car, or a bike, or a public transport. You don't, you don't need any of those things. You can walk, but sometimes you want to get down the road faster.